Hello everyone, my name is Lisa Romasanta. I'm a school teacher librarian at Teachers Memorial Global Studies Magnet School and today I'm going to talk about Makerspace. Uh, there's a lot of questions about Makerspace as it's the new and upcoming thing in school librarians and pretty much anywhere in the different communities. Uh, within school setting, they don't necessarily align with the standards. However, it is possible to align the standards when you do create activities. Um, to fit into the curriculum. The educational makerspace is based upon student ownership of their learning. This is when I see the most disengaged learners become fully engaged and it's quite magical to see this. Uh, we work a lot in our makerspace with anticipation. Uh, I leave out makerspace material, students have questions about it, they might see a post on Instagram with just materials and then come in running and then asking questions about it or asking their teacher when they're going to come into the actual library to work with these materials in Makerspace. And certainly the best promotional tool is the students themselves. Uh, we work a lot with inquiry within our Makerspace. It's all wrapped around the engineering design process. Um, this is an example of what I have done with the Makerspace program using engineering. And again, also the engineer design process with using a Spiro robot. You have a situation that's usually a typical layout of my makerspace. You have the student success criteria as well as the objective and of course the materials we worked with. Um, the only thing I have to remark about this is um, I just had one disengaged student and their uh, dissatisfaction stem from the lack of choice in materials. So from this point on, I probably will incorporate more choice in materials. He stated that he would prefer to have tissues as part of the building materials, and I certainly agree with him that this could have had more materials. Um, I also often set up expectation. When the students do walk into Makerspace, they know failure is great. We love failure because it allows you to redesign your makerspace creation and make a better product. Uh, here is some, some students working on the makerspace. Uh, you can see that there's an iPad out. Usually that's used for research purposes. And then also the end result is with an exit ticket, um, typically used in the form of a flip grid. There's different creations. Students have to create their design first, and then we do a walkabout. And students see other designs and then choose to redesign their um, creation if necessary. 